Filming videos is one of the most rewarding things that I've ever done. Every video is a story. It's open for tonight, it's not too late. My mind says yes. For quite some time. But my heart tells me you should stay. This is this castor oil. It really does work. Look at I have eyelashes. I can't believe it. I, I've never had eyelashes on YouTube before. <laughs> Except for the time I tried to use false eyelashes. That, that didn't work out at all. Hi everybody. I'm so happy to see you. I hope you had a wonderful week and I'm so glad you came back to see me and Cooper. Um, can you believe it's August? Oh my goodness. You know, in the spring I made a list of all the things that I wanted to do this summer. And so I'm taking out that list this week and I am crossing off everything on that list. I am going to do it. So, um, but yeah, I love the end of summer. Uh, it's so romantic, but what's even more romantic is fall. <laughs> oh gosh, I love fall. And I know a lot of you out there love fall too. So, um, yeah. I wanted to thank you all so much for your beautiful, beautiful comments last week about um, my encounter uh, at the um, charity event. Uh, it really meant a lot to me that you understood how I felt and that you allowed me that space to feel sad. I so appreciated that. I really felt like, you know, you understood and it meant so much to me. So, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, a couple weeks ago I tried a high-end mineral makeup by Iden and so many of you said go to the store, uh, go to the drugstore and pick up the True Match Mineral Foundation and so many of you love it. I mean really love it and a lot of you said you know nobody really talks about it so I thought well yeah okay I'm gonna do that I'm gonna pick it up and I did and I tried it and I do like it. This has been sort of a new adventure for me with mineral makeup and I've just been loving it. Um, the True Match uh, Mineral Foundation, it comes in 12 shades. Uh, it runs about $12.99 to pick it up compared to the one that I used a couple weeks ago, and this is $35. Um, this was $12.99. Um, let's see, it is, <laughs> it's an SPF of 19. Isn't that odd? I mean, I, I've heard of like SPF 15 and SPF 25 or SPF 50 but 19 it's like I don't know I mean that just conjures up you know like a little scientist saying you know okay you know well we pushed it to 16 can we get to anyway all right I'm sorry but it's SPF 19 they say that you can build this up to medium coverage and that it is very good for sensitive skin or acne prone skin so uh, it does come in, I don't know how many ounces is in here, but I'll put it someplace around here because I'm blind as a bat and I don't have my glasses. Um, what they want you to do is it comes with kind of a dopey brush and they want you to take the brush and swirl it around, tap it, and then go around your face. And I have seen lovely, beautiful ladies do this on YouTube when they have reviewed it and I'm not going to do that because I don't like this brush. This brush kind of hurt my skin. So I have a nice set of foundation brushes and then I'll just swirl the brush in there and tap it. And I think the hardest thing for me to learn with mineral makeup was how much do I use and 
when do I know that I'm done? And so there really was a learning curve for me and there probably still is. I think there are some special challenges uh, when you have mature skin uh, for using mineral makeup. And one is make sure that you use a primer uh, to help minimize your pores and fine lines. And the other thing too is you know, use some type of oil or moisturizer, but make sure that your skin is dry uh, before you uh, uh, apply your mineral makeup. I'm gonna swirl it around, and then I'm gonna tap, wow. So what I like to do is just lightly go over my face so I feel like I get this kind of evenness to it all and then I'm going to start swirling. Can you hear them? They're putting new carpeting in my hallway. <laughs> Some nice looking guys out there. I'm terrible. I am. I'm becoming Blanche from the Golden Girls. So that's the first layer and you're not going to get a lot of coverage from that. Um, you know, I suppose if I was 16 with perfect skin, I'd probably stop right here, but I can't. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and, and repeat the whole thing. I'm going to swirl my brush. You know, when you're using mineral makeup as an older woman, you want to make sure that your skin is kind of tight so you can really buff it in there. I'm amazed at the natural coverage that I get. Well, I quick put the rest of my makeup on. Um, I am going to uh, the zoo with Tony. Uh, so we're going to have kind of a fun afternoon. And there's a nice restaurant in the zoo by the tigers. And we're going to have a little uh, lunch there, dining with the tigers today. But I do want it to be um, very blended. I used a little age rewind underneath my eyes. But uh, I did not powder. I didn't powder anything. So at the end, I'm going to dip my brush in. Um, very very lightly and tap it really really good until I have most everything off of my brush and then to set everything I'm going to go over all this one more time to just give my face this continuity so I, I didn't use the setting powder what I'm using as my setting powder is my true match mineral makeup and then I'm just gonna kind of buff it all together. And because I have highlight, blush, and contour so high, I love it um, that all that can be sort of blended for a more natural look. I don't know, I'm just, I am so impressed with mineral makeup. If you have the chance to try it, I, I think you'd really like it. This is what's causing all the racket. I'm getting new carpeting in my apartment. It's over in a flash and you're on your way. So in the next few weeks, I'm going to do my first sponsored video of 2017. Um, I've had a lot of chances to do sponsored videos, <laughs> um, but uh, I've never found a product that I really wanted to recommend to you. Um, but this one is a teeth whitening system that is really fantastic. I think that sometimes sponsored videos get a bad rap, you know, like, oh, you know, sponsored videos, they pay you to lie, and that is so not the case, you know. Um, uh, the Smile Brilliant people, I am loving what they're doing for my teeth, and, and you can actually see before and after. Um, and I, I think it's nice because it isn't that they pay you to lie, you know, they, they're paying me for my time, they're paying me to film their product, they're paying me to spend a lot more time explaining how it works, and, um, and I think that's quite lovely. It helps me um, buy dog food and Cooper needs shots for the fall, and I am forever grateful. For, for me personally, I think you have to be so careful because you know, if you are doing some sponsored videos and you are promoting uh, products that don't work, I mean, it is like people won't know. Um, and then they'll stop watching you and then you won't have a channel anymore. 
finally got my rosehip seed oil from Ara Casio. I went back to this brand because the other brands make me break out and the other brands do not have the scent that this one has. This has a very strong scent and I need that scent um, just to wake up in the morning and I also need that scent for me to know when the bottle is going bad when I need to get a new bottle. So I love this brand. It is after I've tried four different brands and this one's my favorite. It's the one I started out with. So there you go. You know, getting older, it's a journey. It really, it sounds corny, but I mean, we all know it's a journey and, and things change. Things change when we're in our 60s and 70s. And yeah, it's just nice to uh, be able to travel this road with uh, with other ladies. It's it's so important to me and I, I, I learn so much. I get a lot of letters and notes and it seems that mostly they're filled with feelings of you know wanting to gain that desire uh, to embrace life to its fullest and I know you know exactly what I mean because it's not quite as easy you know we get up in the morning and we put one foot in front of the other and it sounds so simple but when you get older you need things that inspire you that that um, make the world look fresh and new because we have been here uh, for quite a while and we have seen it all and uh, well hopefully we haven't seen it all. The author of this article was talking about um, the happiness of women as women age and that in finding uh, the world fresh and new and, and renewing their purpose in life um, one of the exercises that he asked the women to do was sit down and pretend you're 10 years old and think back and write a list of the top 10 things that you wanted to be when you were a 10 year old little girl. And he said in doing that sometimes it will rekindle a feeling that you had when you were young of aspirations that you had uh, or that renewed feeling of hope that um, who knows what's around the corner and I think those are absolutely beautiful ideas and I haven't done it yet but I'm going to I know when I was 10 years old I thought for sure I was either going to be a photographer a veterinarian, a rock star, uh, or an astronaut. <laughs> uh, okay, I hear you. No jokes about space cadets out there. Okay, that's not funny. But real quickly, I just wanted to share with you something um, that happened to me when I was 10 years old. Um, when I was growing up, my mom, she loved movie magazines and she would just sit around and, and she would um, read uh, about Liz Taylor and Debbie Reynolds and Grace Kelly and Natalie Wood and um, she brought that world to me you know it was as if I mean things were really tough uh, when I was growing up as a kid but my mom made it fun she made me feel like I was in Hollywood with all the movie stars and she knew all the details and everything so as a little girl I would you know they would have the addresses of the fan clubs of you know Grace Kelly and Natalie Wood and Liz. so I would write long 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 letters <laughs> to these movie stars telling them about my life and my doggies and uh, my dreams and one day there was this huge package on the doorstep and it was from Natalie Wood and as a little girl I, w I was jumping up and down and I was crying and I was so excited that I got a package a package from Natalie Wood <laughs> and so I ripped it open and there had to be at least 50 beautiful 8x10 glossies of Natalie Wood, some color, some black and white, some casual, some at home, some, you know, so beyond, uh, beyond glamorous, beyond what a 10 year old could even imagine uh, glamorous would be for a woman. But I was on cloud nine and even better, at the bottom of the box was a handwritten letter, a handwritten note and it smelled like perfume and it said dear Susie thank you so much for your lovely letter and it went on and on 
And it was the sweetest, cutest thing that you ever saw. And, and my mom came in and she saw this huge uh, box and, and she said, what is that? And I said, well, Natalie Wood sent it to me. And my mom took it and she showed the whole family, you know, look what Natalie Wood, you know, sent Susie. And it was just, oh my goodness. It's such a dear memory. And funny, you know, um, whenever I send somebody a card or I send them a handwritten note, I do spray it with perfume. <laughs> and I'm sure I got it from Natalie Wood. And, you know, I know that Natalie Wood didn't send me that box full of goodies, you know. I mean, somebody in her orbit did. But, you know, I think it speaks volumes to the kind of people that she surrounded herself with. So, it was terribly kind. And, you know, a woman my age, all these years later, I'm still talking about it. So that's how important it was. So, I mean, there's no great moral to the story other than you just never know, you know, what life has in store. And, you know, if you can tap into your joy, uh, even over something silly, I think it's a wonderful thing. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I loved every second of it. Please have a wonderful brand new week and when you're done. Okay, one more time. Thank you so much for spending this time with me today. I loved every second of it. So have a wonderful brand new week and when you're done with your week, come back and see me in Cooper, okay? <laughs> All right, it's a deal. There are times where I guess the best way for me to have someone hear me is for me not to say anything at all. Just listen.